I'm Benjamin. And I'm Jeff from the band Walking Papers. And we're here to do tour tips live from uh, Uproar 2013. Yeah! Tour tip number one. Okay. I think this is best if we interact it. Okay. Hey, hey guys, what's going on? How's it going? We're passing in the hallway. Oh, this is the. Hey! Oh, <laughs> hey. No! Bad. The good tour tip would be. Well, we learned this from Duff McKagan after the drag. We did the drag a couple times. It's called ass to ass. ass. Dog. <laughs> so you go. Oh, see that? See how that? Let's let's interact one more time with no. Ready? Hey. Hey. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> ass to here's, ass. Here's dog. the proper way to pass on the tour bus. Oh, see that? You can. This works in other situations with a, uh, you know, hallways. Whatever. Airplanes. That's our first. Tour tip for the day. That's tip number one. Always ask to ask. Always ask to ask. We learned that from Duff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tour tip number two. Uh, why don't you show him tour tip number two, Ben? All Anderson right. has a re he's a really good traveler. <laughs> Except for he's got. At first, I had that commandeered for my boots, and all of a sudden, you threw my boots out. And took it. Oh, he yeah, put them back. My boots got to go back in the little fancy closet. When traveling. Whether it be for two weeks, two months, two days, or two years, you need to pare down what you have to just your essentials. This is all my clothing that I travel with no matter how long I'm gone from home. <laughs> but the best pack touring tip is packing cubes. Wow. Got enough socks to last over a week. That's pretty Got good. enough. Shirts rolled to last over a week. And we got workout clothes, which will lead to another tour tip in and of itself. Pants, loungy stuff, and it all fits in an overhead bin so you can check your guitars and keyboards into the uh, bays of the airplane or bus. Uh, tour tip number two packing cubes. That's beautiful. Isn't that something else? I got a couple pack of pieces, but mine don't look near as nice. I I always overpack, and then I wear just the same two pants, two pairs of pants. Tour tip 2B, never overpack. <laughs> <laughs> if you need extra socks, you can always buy them. If you need a t-shirt, you're going to get some from the other bands you're out with. It's better to have too little than too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to just pack a whole thing of socks for the tour and then just stuff them in people's mouths as we were done with them and leave them behind in the town. We just grab a crowd member and shove a dirty sock in their face and say, rock on, and leave them with that. Yeah. A couple of lawsuits later, we don't do that anymore. We stop that. But we have insurance now. I think we, should, we could go back to it. Could bring it back. Tour tip number three, always have insurance. Just kidding. That's not really tour tip number three. What else, what else you got then? Uh, tour tip number three, staying healthy, I think, is the key. Eat right, exercise daily. Uh, if you miss a day of exercise on the road, you feel pretty bad. So if you can keep healthy, as healthy as you can. I, I find that um, a good exercise routine keeps me from choking the living shit out of someone else later <laughs> on in the day. So if I exercise earlier, then later on I'm a little tired and I go, oh, I want to, okay, I just let it go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I think just keeping healthy stems, it, even if you drink and party and do all that, Keep it to a minimum because a, a bus full of hungover people is a surefire way to uh, big arguments and drama. Yeah. Tour tip number four saving money on communication, keeping in touch with home. Yeah, we have a little, we have a, there's a Viber app, V I B E R, where you can do free texts and phone calls from anywhere in the world so it's via Wi Fi. So anytime you're on Wi Fi, you can call your sweetie or your kids or text. So the evil telecommunication companies that actually rule the world, we get away with one. They don't have their hooks in us anymore. Yeah, hell no, they don't. Mm -hmm. We're Can, rebels. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's a, yeah, we did. That's a good tour tip. Yeah, tour tip number five. We we usually do what the show is the most important thing. Yeah, but that doesn't really help you if you're traveling. Yeah. Too much. The show is the most important thing, so maybe we'll just call that 4B. Yeah. If you do 
do if you pack good, stay healthy, and for ass to ass, I mean, you're pretty good. You are pretty good. So maybe the fifth tour tip is the show is the most important yeah. thing. We all, but we do it. have a little tip with our little, our, everybody, how about a couple quick ones? Everybody knows. You No know, number two's in there, right? Only number ones. I don't know why they have it sit down. In my case, I, if it was me, well, our tour has no girls on it. Well, but we have visitors. Sometimes we have Mrs. McKagan or one of our girlfriends join us on the tour. And so they might want to sit down. Otherwise, we could just have a urinal, like a little bleach bottle with a, a garden hose that just went out right out the window. We wouldn't even have to deal with all this. But it does make you feel kind of special, you know. Another thing, what do they have? Is your bunk, is oh, your private secret. place. Never disturb someone in their bunk. Like this guy, he's in there right now. Just stick your hand out. See, we would never disturb him like that. I would never open this up and like tickle his belly, <laughs> tickle time in the back of the bus. I'd never do that, never. See, somebody could be sleeping in any one of those. So, you know, so if I wanted to crawl in there, what you wouldn't do is like bug me when I'm in there. I would like, you know, you, you take your little button, you button it up like that, which you can't do from the outside. And then no one bothers you, they give you your private time, which is kind of nice. Because you need that private time, because why? You need to sleep because the show is the most important. Right, that's what we're out for here to do. All right, tour tips. That's our two, five tour tips from, uh, I'm Jeff and this is Benjamin. We're from Walking Papers. I like it. Thanks for having us. Good luck getting out. <laughs> Without a sock in your mouth. <laughs> and then your safe word might be like, we'll give you a good safe word like, Testosterone, but it's when you have a sock stuffed in your mouth, your safe word sounds like. Testosterone. <laughs> and we say what? Testosterone. What? Whip, whip me with a guitar strap? Testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right.